Hey yo, eyeshadow palette check. From the top, oh, oh, drop that. Oh, yeah, feel the funk, y'all. Oh, yeah, and lay back in the cut. What's up? What's up? Wow, I am so cringe. That was so cringe. I do apologize. <laughs> Hello my doves, welcome or welcome back if you're new to Aphrodite by Olympia. My name, that doesn't make any sense. Welcome or well, no, welcome. <laughs> oh, I'm getting off to a great start here. Let's try that again. Welcome or welcome if you're new here. My name's Olympia and I do videos here on YouTube about beauty and makeup available in Australia for deeper skin tones. Welcome to today's video. We are going to go through the TikTok viral trend AO eyeshadow palette check. I saw one of my YouTube friends on here, Courtney Marie, do this video and I was like, yes girl, I love this tag. I'm going to do it. We are going to sit down and we're going to do the TikTok viral AO eyeshadow palette check but YouTube style. Before we continue, head and subscribe if you want to. You don't have to, but if you want to, subscribe down below. Okay. So I'm gonna play you guys the actual TikTok video that kind of started this trend, and then we're gonna get into my picks for each of those categories. Hey yo, eyeshadow palette check. Show your least expensive palette. Your most expensive palette, your newest palette, your oldest palette, your most used palette, your least used palette, your most colorful palette, a palette with your favorite packaging, a palette that you use every day, a palette that you have not touched yet, and lastly, your favorite palette. Okay, so the first one is least expensive eyeshadow palette. And I have two. I have the Essence. This is the, I don't know, Wanted Sunset Dreamers eyeshadow palette, uh, Desert Heat. This is supposed to be a dupe for the Urban Decay Heat palette. As you can see, I've used it a couple of times and I was pleasantly surprised with um, it being such a cheap eyeshadow palette. I was really, really surprised with what I got when I did a look with this. They're actually really quite creamy and dusty. They blend really, really well. I'm this one. If you can still get your hands on it, I don't. I don't believe this is still available, but you might be able to get it like on Amazon or something. Uh, it's a good one, especially. This is one of the reasons why I haven't actually picked up any of the Urban Decay, like this type of Urban Decay eyeshadow palettes. I only own. own well, I only own one, which is the Born to Run. So, yeah, this is was like ten dollars, like nine ninety five. And then I also have the D Delilicious Grape by BYS, and this one is an all shimmer. I'm yet to use this. I did get this in PR, so technically this is cheaper than the Essence one. Oh, okay, that just wants to fall out. Okay then. Um, so this one's all shimmer, but because it's all like purples and pinks, I am not mad at it. I feel like these are all topper shades. I am going to be doing a kind of drugstore or inexpensive makeup first impressions video. And I do have a lot of BYS that I got sent through PR that I'm going to try out for you guys. So look out for that video. But isn't, isn't she cute? She's really cute. I really like the packaging. It's really travel friendly. Mm. So they're my most inexpensive eyeshadow palettes in my collection. Oh, by the way, I should say I have over 250, if not almost 300 eyeshadow palettes. Do with that what you will. So narrowing this all down was, was hard, okay? So some categories will have more than one. Um, eyeshadow palette just because I I have the luxury of having options so just bear that in mind okay cool let's move on to the next one okay so the next one is the most expensive eyeshadow palette and you guys are probably are going to be aware of this if you are not new to my channel yes I have a thing for Pat McGrath Labs so I actually have 
five of these um, and one more on the way. <laughs> yes, this one is the Pat McGrath Labs Mothership Volume 6 Midnight Sun. Sorry, I thought that was at the door. <laughs> um, and this is what she looks like. I love this shade here. Vermilion Venom. This one's beautiful. This one's gorgeous. So. Oh, yes. Queen. Look at that. $260. This is currently worth if, if you go through... The Pat McGrath Labs website. The Australian dollar isn't doing so well at the moment, but I actually bought this off of uh, Sephora and I paid like 190, or like 205, something like that, around there. About 200 dollars, you could say, basically, for this eyeshadow palette. So, yep, this one is my most expensive in my collection. And just like as a little mini review, Pat McGrath Labs eyeshadow palettes work a lot better on a set down concealer base so concealer base with that's been set down with powder her matte shades work a lot better like in that kind of prepping of the eye her special shades so particularly this one here which is quite flaky you will need a tacky base for it to stick onto so um, whether you use a glitter glue or you put down a concealer if you're doing a cut crease or what, whatever it may be you would need some kind of adhesive i like to use setting spray on my finger um, go into this, then you set it from my finger and then go onto the eyelid with it. Um, it will flake off if you don't do so. Just bear that in mind if you are thinking about getting this this, top, this this palette here or any of her other palettes. So yes, that's my most expensive one. Okay, so next one is my newest eyeshadow palette and that would have to be the Dose of Colors Frenication with Desi X Katie. Uh, yeah, so still in its packaging. I actually bought a couple of other palettes with this one, but I'm going to count this one because the other one is going to be in another category. But this is the palette here. Ooh, I cannot wait. This is going to be my the palette that I'm going to be using in my um, Throwback Thursday. I'm not sure if it's this week, next week, I'm not sure. But my next Throwback Thursday episode is going to be on the Friendcation palette. I'm going to do three looks using this, and I cannot wait I cannot wait I cannot wait so isn't she beautiful so I can't tell you much about this particular palette in terms of formula um, and things like that but it does it is a bit of a cult favorite within the YouTube community beauty beauty guru community influencer community um, it is very well much loved and highly comes highly recommended so can't wait to get stuck into that one Okay, so this next one is oldest palette. So where did this all kind of begin? Uh, my oldest palette, and surprisingly enough, I still use this to this day, is the Ila Masca Neutrals. Uh, neutral palette. Oh, neutral palette? Yeah, neutral palette. I have hit pan on this shade here. It's got a significant dip in it, as you can see. I used to basically use this all, well, I used to, I still do. Um, but I love to use this just in my crease and then out the door, no primer, nothing on the lid, no, nothing. Just, just that shade. I just found that it contoured my eye so well. I would use mascara, a bit of liner, and I'm good to go. Like, I, that, mm, so good. Such an awesome neutral shade. It's not cool, it's not warm, it's basically perfect. Um, and then I kind of compare a lot of my brown shadows in other palettes to this particular one so good um the black is pretty good let me just swatch some of these for you guys because you know might as well there's that brown and it still works perfectly to this day that's a really good black too and it's still on the market you can still get this as well so there's that okay most used eyeshadow palette. This one's a hard one for me because I have so many eyeshadow palettes that a lot of mine don't look very used. Well, that's because they're not. <laughs> um, but because I have so many, I and I get bored really, really easily. Um, I need palettes to be really kind of interesting, and I I use them a couple of times. I'm like, I'm bored. I'm going to go on to the next. And I have a large collection, so 
in terms of consistently using one palette there's only really three that i can talk about and one of them being the illamasqua one i just showed you was my oldest just because like i said that particular shade there i use quite a bit in the crease most used i've hit pan on it the only other eyeshadow palette that i've ever ever hit pan on is the master palette by mario um with Anastasia Beverly Hills, as you can see, a couple of shades there hit pan on. Almost hit pan on Isabel, because that's awesome for the crease as well. Love it, love everything about this. If you guys haven't seen my ranking, my Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow palettes, I suggest you go do that because <laughs> it's a good video, trust me. Uh, the Modern Renaissance by Anastasia Beverly Hills is the other one that I kind of always kind of gravitate back to. Doesn't look as well used as some of my others, but when I went through my collection to see what I had used the most, this one had the most dips in it, which I'm not surprised because it's particular looks that I like to do with this one. This shade Primriva all over the lid is absolutely gorgeous. And then I like to use Vermeer on the inner corner. And yeah, I don't really touch any of these shades here, to be honest, like they're just not, they're just not for me. But the rest of the palette, I absolutely love. Regular is beautiful. Sacros Umber is gorgeous. Um, I love using Love Letter and Vinod Rose together. Red Ochre, Sacros Umber and Regular, I can get a look with that as well. So there's my go-to looks that I do when I use this palette if I'm like kind of in a rush and I want to do something really nice and like, you know, elegante, but I don't have much time. At least with this palette, I know exactly what order to go in. I know exactly what the look, how the look's gonna turn out. And it's just like boom, 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 boom. And it's so quick, like literally 10 minutes and I've got like a full on like cut crease eye using this. Like it's so good. I just, I love it. Okay. I know some people don't like it. There's a lot of people who do like it. I feel like this will forever remain in makeup history. Okay, so they're the three that are my most used. So moving on to least used. Okay, so that would have to be the Tarte Tartlet is least used. And I say that loosely because I have a lot of eyeshadow palettes that I haven't even touched yet, which is another category which we'll get into. But the reason why this is least used is because it's so cool toned and I don't think I like the formula. I am going to be doing a declutter halfway through the year um, while I give myself some time to get through my collection and learn like what I like and what I don't like. I can already tell you that I don't like this. this that's why it's my least used. I have made attempts to use this and I've just been like halfway through I'm like mm, you know this is not no. <laughs> um, it's all matte. Still smells like vanilla. I've had it for a couple of years now, almost three years, and it's still kind of going strong. But yeah, this is my least least used eyeshadow palette. Sorry, Tart. Not sorry. Okay, next one is most colorful eyeshadow palette. And are you guys ready? Because this is absolutely glorious. It's so. Mm, I cannot wait to use it. This is the Be Perfect Carnival Extra Large Pro Palette with Stacey Marie. And you guys, I still have the foil on it because I haven't even used this yet. But look at this. Oh my God. Isn't it just, don't you just want to eat it? It's beautiful. So you've got like reds and oranges, you've got pinks and purples, you've got greens and blues, and then you've got like your basic colors, so like your neutrals, your browns. Um, it's got a black, it's got a white. It has everything. It has a gold metallic, it has a purple metallic, it has a blue metallic, it has a teal, it has a green, it has a bronze, it has, it's just, <sighs> I love it. I love everything about it. It is so beautiful. Um, I kind of can get over the greens, they're really not into green at the moment, but like the rest, I just, I love. So colourful, it is my most colourful eyeshadow palette that I have. And I mean, there's another one I could have brought out, which was the B, uh, BH Cosmetics Carnival Festival. That was a carnival palette too. Wait, 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 wait. Honourable mentions, because you know I can. Um, so I do have the BH Take Me Back to Brazil. 
she looks like this i am yet to use her as well and i've had her for a while too so that's really bad of me i don't know i just can't get over like the really tiny pants i don't know i don't know if that's a thing and then i also have the take me back to brazil rio edition which is supposed to be like the old shimmer version which i think it's cute like that's that's cute i can get on board with that Mm, I need to use these especially because I love color and I love doing like wearable color looks so yeah two honorable mentions as my most colorful eyeshadow palettes there you go okay we're getting into some fun now so this next one is eyeshadow palettes with my favorite packaging so I have I have two technically two because one there's three Okay, there's four, but like three of them have the same kind of packaging, so they gonna count as one. So I have the Huda Beauty Nude Obsessions. I absolutely adore the packaging on this, like that crocodile leather, faux leather um, thing that she's got going on is absolutely, okay, probably not that one. Let's hold this one up. It's absolutely gorgeous. And I even like how it opens and it goes completely flat, which is how I like to like have it on my desk. Um, or it stands right up if you need to, or even at an angle. <laughs> so smart. And then the way it just clasps is just, oh, it's gorgeous. I love it. I think it's beautiful. Like, beautiful. So there's that. And then the other one would have to be the Ciate Glitter Storm. I absolutely love this. Like, are you kidding? Like, look at this. Hang on, there's a center. Is that not gorgeous? I love it. And the actual um, eyeshadow palette itself is beautiful. Some of the best glitters that are actually eye safe thank you very much they're all micro glitters hmm, okay made in italy isn't that gorgeous oh i love it okay so next one is everyday eyeshadow palette so the one i use every day and every day for me is not every day like it will never be every day because well <laughs> I don't wear makeup every day but when I'm on holiday like back in Adelaide or I'm away for like I go back home like to my parents house or to see my parents and my sister and my brothers and whatnot um, and my friends back in Adelaide like I would take this palette with me and I would use it every day that I was out so this is the palette that I'm talking about this is the gingerbread spice by Too Faced this is one of their Christmas palettes I think 2000 and Christmas 2018 I believe this palette is absolutely gorgeous. This shade here, mm, oh my God, so yum. Is it pink? Is it orange? It's like, it's like an amazing duo. Can see, see how it changes there? It's like orange now. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. Like I love, such an awesome eyeshadow palette. It's got a duo chrome, it's got the gold, it's got the bronze, spectacular. The only shade. The only shade I don't like is this one here, which is called Frostbite Me. It is absolute trash. I just can never get it to work. It's poo poo caca, and I say that all the time. But this would be my everyday palette, just because it's versatility, amazing quality of the shades. It's just so easy to use, glides on, blends so well. Easy. Eyeshadow palettes I haven't touched yet. You guys are gonna. You guys are gonna crucify me. I'm I apologize. This is I know this is terrible. This is so terrible. And I feel really, really bad because of how expensive these two eyeshadow palettes are. I could have picked like some ColourPop ones that I haven't used yet, which is obviously less inexpensive, but what's the point? So this one is the Natasha Denona Star palette. I haven't used it yet. How have I not used this yet? Is that not like just it's so neutral. Maybe that's why. And I like warm tones. I don't know. It's definitely not cool toned. 
it's definitely neutral oh there's a couple of cool tones in there but i have no idea why i have not used this yet that's a duochrome that's a duochrome oh it's stunning okay i'm i'm i feel so bad i feel terrible it's an expensive palette that i haven't used it yet another one from, from natasha Jonah that's I, I, I'm a lot more lenient towards myself about this one because it's only just new to my collection and that is Natasha Denona Love Palette and she looks a little something like this and literally that's like my life right there like is that just not does that just not scream Ollie like isn't that not beautiful why have I not used this oh that shade pure love Ooh. dang okay I need to use this I'll do a video and I'm gonna look at I'm gonna use this That's, yeah we're gonna do that don't don't worry okay so last one is my favorite eyeshadow palette and you guys you probably already knew this but it's going to be the Anastasia Beverly Hills X Jackie Aina eyeshadow palette this one could easily be in like my um favorite packaging one as well because the packaging on this is just stunning the camera is probably not picking up on it um here are the shades i've taken the actual brush out because i use it that often i love xam sponsored edges ginger credit litier i love all of it every single shade every single shade every single shade has been used and that is very very rare for me being of deep complexion living in Australia. It is very rare that I can use every single shade in an eyeshadow palette. I'm, I'm just I'm gonna just tell you, that's the that's my reality, and I can use every single one. Like, I love Auntie Jackie for that. Like, just amazing. Amazing. Sponsored Zam Trust Issues. Yes, baby. <laughs> Shookington, like stop it, just gorgeous, yes, 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 okay guys, that's the end of the video, I hope you enjoyed this little tag, a little bit of some fun, lightheartedness that we kind of all need right now, so if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe if you want to, you don't have to, but if you want to, subscribe down below, I love you all my dolls, I will see you on the next video, take care, bye!